It's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. Then my daddy would say, some of you think that is not necessary, and it is not necessary unless it is necessary. <laughs> so while they're trying to figure that out, my mother would finish running because a lot of people say, you know, so many people think they know what's necessary, and they think they know what's not necessary. But if God said you need to count it all joy when you're going through adversity, then it must be necessary for you to go ahead and rejoice. Come on now. <laughs> the Lord told me one time, he said, if you only knew what happens in the spirit when you rejoice, you would rejoice every day. Come on, your joy. Come on, your joy. Your joy, your joy is a demonstration of the triumph of Christ. Come on, your joy, your celebration is a demonstration of your expectation. In other words, how would you act if you believe God is working on your situation? You would just go ahead and praise the Lord and rejoice. I, I, I said, right now. so my mama, she'd run. The reason my daddy would say, go ask her, was because my mom, when my mom and dad first started pastoring in a little town called West Columbia, Texas. Anybody know where West Columbia, Texas is? It's one mile west of East Columbia. It's down <laughs> South Texas. It's a little town of 3,000 people. That's where I was born. That's where I was raised. That's where my dad pastored. West Columbia, Texas. It was such a small town, they had to put a mirror at the end of town to make it look bigger. <laughs> it was such a small town, the welcome and y'all come back sign was on the same pole. <laughs> it was such a small town, there was only two restaurants in town, and whichever one you ate at, you wish you would have eaten at the other one. <laughs> it was such a small town, such a small town, they had a beauty contest and nobody won. So this is a small town. <laughs> but when my mom and dad first moved there, they were the pastor of that church, very, very small church. And my dad had a heart attack. My mama had a nervous breakdown. Imagine, she's the pastor's wife, and she lived in the back bedroom in darkness most of the time because of depression or shame, things that had happened to her that no one knew. And so she struggled and struggled with that, and she stayed in the back bedroom and didn't have any money. But somebody came and gave us the word of faith, which we call the authority of the believer. So in the middle of that disaster, then my mother started speaking the word. 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. But my mother's favorite Psalm, Psalms 27, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Let's try that one more time. Somebody said, I know that verse, but the authority of the believer means you say it. You say it. So she kept saying, the Lord is my life, my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And the power of God came down into that bedroom, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and delivered her from depression. Amen. 
brought her out of a horrible pit. Come on, look like there's no way out. She came out of that pit, changed her life, so when she would come to church and thank the Lord. If you knew the pit she came out of, you'd know why she prays the way she prays. Are y'all here? I said, if you knew the pit she came out of. Come on, you might want to tell somebody around you, if you knew where I came from, you'd know why I praise like this, why I shout like this, why I laugh like this. So back down, I'm trying to finish up here. So, the joy of the Lord. Come on, the Bible says God in his presence is fullness of joy. Sometimes people that say, well, I've just been with the Lord already. I'm like, I don't know where you've been, but I don't think you've been with the Lord. Because when you come out of his presence, you're like, I've been with the Lord. That means victory is mine and joy is mine and healing is mine. I've been with the Lord. And the Bible says God sits in the heavens and he laughs. Now, I know some people don't think this joy, this laughing, they don't think it's very spiritual. The problem is you cannot get more spiritual than God. I know some of you have been trying. But God, listen, if God's laughing and you're in his presence, you just laugh out of respect. I mean, you may not even know what he's laughing about, but the guy with the lightning coming out of his hands is laughing and you go, ha, ha. Some of y'all need to practice. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Try it again. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Listen, one of the greatest hospitals in the world in Houston, Texas, MD Anderson Hospital, actually has laughing classes for their patients. It's true, they have laughing classes. They're not really Christian, they're just laughing classes. People come from all over the world to get surgery and they have discovered that when somebody's happy, then they get well faster. Are y'all ready? They have also discovered that your body cannot tell the difference between a real laugh and a fake laugh. In other words, you'll get the same benefit. It'll lower your blood pressure, help your immune system, help your digestive system if you would just get happy. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, if a bad thought comes to your mind, you go, ha, 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 devil, I know that ain't right. (laughs) Come on, this is one way that you cast all your cares on the Lord. And let him care for you. Do you go, ha? Ah. A merry heart does good like yes. medicine. If you're around me much and we travel a lot, international, it can get kind of tiring when you travel a lot. But me and Trina, we just come up with stuff just to laugh about. (laughs) Come on, there's enough sadness. I said, there's enough depression. Come on, people struggling. And some people go through things they think they'll never be happy again. But there is a joy that comes from the Holy Spirit. 
I said, there is a supernatural joy that can come in the middle of your situation that God literally can turn your mourning and your sorrow into joy. So some of you need to practice this girl, huh? Ha, ha, ha. Somebody said, you're just doing that. Ah, oh, how did you figure that out, huh? Ha, ha, ha. In other words, you don't have to feel like it. You just go ahead and act like the Bible is true and go, ha, ha, ha. Whatever the devil meant for evil, God is turning that thing around for your good. You just go, ha, ha, ha. Matter of fact, if you knew what the Lord was working on for you right now, come on. If you just knew what he's working on you right now, man, you would get happy. Praise and the Lord rejoice. Thank you, Lord. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. So here's the way they do laughing classes. Come on, what they do is people from other countries, so they're gonna get everybody to laugh, and laughter actually is contagious. Come on, if somebody just keeps laughing long enough, you're like. Especially if you hear little kids laugh. Oh man, the greatest sound in the world is hear little kids laugh. Our senior citizens. Let's see if we can find a happy senior citizen in here. <laughs> Are there any happy senior citizens in here? I mean, come on, anybody say, well, I might be 65 or 70, but I got the joy of the Lord on the inside of me. <laughs> so here's the way they do the laughing classes. Everybody comes to the meeting and they get a laughter leader. I'm looking right now for the laughter leader. They get a laughter leader. <laughs> they bring them up to the front. Their job is to do nothing but laugh. So the laughter leader starts. Ha, 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 ha. If they don't do too good, they get another laughter substitute. They bring in another laughter leader. Then they bring in another laughter leader. Come on. And then some people laugh with a high-pitched noise. They're, <laughs> they get another laughter leader. <laughs> Come on, this is healthy for you. People say, why are you laughing like that? You say, I'm on medication. In other words, you have medicine. Come on, sadness and sorrow and grief will eat up your health, destroy your health. Come on now. So my mother, she'd run and go, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Woo! My friend said, who? I said, I have no idea. That wasn't the end of it. After she would run, there's another man in the church named Sidney Smith. He'd been a fighter, big, strong guy, but he had gotten saved and became the best soul winner in my dad's church. He's a tough guy. So the Holy Spirit would begin to stir in him and mama's running going, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Well, this guy had come out of a terrible pit and he would start to dance. He'd go, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I feel sorry for people who've never been in a Holy Ghost church, you know. <laughs> It's so boring, you know, but come on, in our church, we didn't even need no TV. We had so much stuff happening. His mama, mama's running. This guy's going, whoa, 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 come on. Well, he'd been a big fighter, so you did not laugh at him. You laughed with him. So he, he started dancing like that, whoa, 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 then. Some people think it's silly, but it's, Serious business. Then Sister Houston and 
She was the richest woman in town. Diamonds everywhere, fancy clothes, fancy car. And she's Baptist, but our church lasted longer than the Baptist. So she would come over after her church. <laughs> and get full of joy. So my mama, whoo, running. This guy's stomping. Y'all know the scripture that God will crush Satan underneath your feet. So that must have been like a little demonstration to let the devil know that. Devil, I'm stomping your head right now. And so then Sister Houston would get intoxicated. You know, the day of Pentecost, they said, these are not drunk as you suppose. Or she, she would get drunk or intoxicated or under the influence. Some people drink better than other people. <laughs> the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And so, <laughs> so Sister Houston would stagger around, drunk and laughing in the Holy Ghost, laughing. <laughs> and then she would fall out. Didn't happen every Sunday. You just couldn't schedule it. You can't even warn people, don't come on the third Sunday. <laughs> Serious business. So my dad's church grew from 20 people to over 2,000 people. Come on, Baptist, Methodist, Church of Christ, Catholics came from all over to be filled with the Holy Spirit because Jesus is alive. They came from all over. So one man came in wearing cowboy shoes, cowboy boots, and a snap shirt and gave my dad $1.2 million for the church. Now the people at the bank are saying they not only have joy, but they got lots of money. <laughs> How many believe you could have joy and have some money too? And they came over and gave my money. Come on, he came back and gave him another million dollars. Come on, they built the biggest church. Come on, the biggest part of town, right? Full of joy, full of the Holy Ghost. Everybody say serious business. Yeah. How many believe God could work on some things for you? Y'all yeah. know Psalms 126, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like those that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Yeah. Let's try it again. The Lord turned again our captivity. What's that mean? He turned it once, now he's turning it again, and our mouth was filled with laughter. Now I'm trying to, I'm trying to finish up, but some of y'all are listening very slow. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. I said, thank God for the Holy Spirit. So Dad Hagen said, in these Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost meetings, emphasis on the demonstration of the Holy Spirit. He said, when this anointing is in full manifestation, he said, joy in the Holy Ghost will be in demonstration. So he said, some people will just start laughing. They'll just start laughing. Other people, <laughs> they'll start rejoicing or dancing in the Spirit. Then Dad Hagen, when he was 80-something, he would dance. I tell people, if you can't dance, you can scoot. <laughs> You're not supposed to be pretty. We don't have any classes on it. But the Bible says David danced before the Lord with all of his might and ushered in the glory of God back into Jerusalem. So he said, if you laugh, some people dance, some people jump and run. My mother liked to run. <laughs> and then some people, the anointing will get so strong. The power of the anointing is real. The glory of God the glory 
the manifested presence of God. And did you know the word for glory in the Old Testament is the word heavy? Everybody say heavy. heavy. What does that mean? Glory, heavy, it means loaded. When you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you get loaded. Glory. And Dad Hagen said, whatever you want, reach up and get it right now. Because, because the glory is here. When the glory is here. <laughs> Go ahead and practice for a minute. Say, ha, ha, ha. Come on, say, come on, Holy Ghost. I need some help here. I need some help. Come on, he can help you. I said he can help you with your situation. He'll help you. Come on, joy, come bubbling up out of your belly. Ha, ha. Serious business. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know where the drink in the drinking section is. I'm looking for the drinking section. I'm looking for somebody that'll say, come on. Come on, I want a fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost to be filled. Ha, ha. Fill and fill again. Ha, ha, ha. Glory. Glory. Come on, carry the glory. So, Most of the time, he would just walk around. He would say, see, that anointing, I feel like it feels like fire in my hand right now. That anointing, that fire, that glory, she's a good drinker, so I'm going to move over away from her. That glory, <laughs> that anointing. <laughs> he said, if you will receive it. Yeah. I'll tell you one more time. If you will receive it, if you will mix faith with it, Things will start to turn in your life if you'll mix faith with it. <laughs> so sometimes that anointing, you can feel it like fire in your hand. I got it from him. I know what it feels like. That feels like fire like that in my, that fire, that anointing will get into my hand. Watching Mark Hankins Ministries Faith for Every Nation. Do you ever feel weak in your life? Have so many problems around you that you feel like things will never change? We have good news. The Holy Spirit takes what Jesus has done for us and makes it a reality in us. The way you yield to the Holy Spirit is the same way you yield to all the will of God. God doesn't just want to clean you up. He wants to fill you up. When you order the Holy Spirit package, you get our brand new book, The Holy Spirit is a Genius. If you listen to him, he'll make you look smart. Plus the four CD set, The Holy Spirit, My Best Friend. When the Holy Spirit is working on your case, you have a tremendous advantage. Your gift of any amount will help Mark and Trina Hankins train believers worldwide. Our vision is for believers to catch the spirit of faith, learn who they are in Christ, and become strengthened by the move of the Holy Spirit. For your gift of any amount, you'll receive the book, The Holy Spirit is a Genius, and the set of four CDs, The Holy Spirit, My Best Friend. You can also download the MP3s of these messages in our app for free. Please call 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Together we can, together we will. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's message on the Holy Spirit. I love this teaching on the Holy Spirit. 
because a lot of times the Holy Spirit is a mystery to people, right? They don't really understand what the Holy Spirit does, who He is, what He can do. He's more than just the Holy Spirit, but He is our friend, He's our comforter, He's our standby, He's our advocate, He's our helper. And my dad has this new book, it's called The Holy Spirit is a Genius. If you listen to him, he'll make you look smart. I wanna read this quote to you real quick from his book. It is amazing, it talks about the Holy Spirit and it says, he is called in to render service. He is called in to help in a situation with which a man by himself cannot cope. He will keep a man on his feet when left to himself, he would collapse. The Holy Spirit enables him to pass the breaking point and not break. Man, that is powerful. If you've ever faced a difficult situation where you felt like, I just can't take it anymore. I just can't do this anymore. You may find yourself in a pit of discouragement or a pit where you just feel like it's just, there's no more hope. I don't know what else I can do. I've tried everything. The Holy Spirit is there. He is your friend. He's never leaving. And He will get into that pit with you and He will pull you out. That's what the help of the Holy Spirit does. You can pass beyond the breaking point, but not break with the help of the Holy Spirit. I want you to get this book today. It's gonna help you. In good times and in bad times, the Holy Spirit is there. He will help you, encourage you. He will strengthen you. He'll stand by you. He'll be your very best friend. Get this book today. You can go to markhankins.org or call the number on the screen. Until next time, I'm Alicia Hankins Moran. We just returned from Lagos, Nigeria, and we had a tremendous, tremendous time. The teaching of the Word, and the Nigerian believers received the Word. Right. And then we had Holy Ghost meetings full of joy and such demonstrations of the Holy Spirit that it was just amazing to yes. us and refreshing. Yes. And the joy of the Lord filled the place and the glory of God filled the place. So we spoke in three different churches in Lagos and also in Rama, Nigeria, and just had a glorious time with the wonderful. pastors, mm -hmm. the ministers, the leaders. We had a minister's conference also. So we wanna thank you as a partner, monthly partner. Thank you for being a partner with us, sending us on these kind of ministry trips. Plus, we got to give away and distribute thousands and thousands of the Spirit of Faith books, the Blood of Jesus Bloodline book, and the books are just going everywhere. And we couldn't have done it without you, yes. our partners. Yes. You helped to send us, you prayed. We got so many prayer reports, you know, and it is so encouraging. Your prayers had a great effect and opened many doors that will never be closed, will only multiply. Amen, so thank you for your partnership with us. Some of you every month, some of you when you can, you're giving, whether it's large or even if it's small, it all adds up and helps us preach the gospel of Christ all over the world. So thank you so much and may God bless you. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation.